Hi there, everybody. I'm Stephanie Haney, and I'm here to bring you a bunch of stories to make you smile, because that's what we do here on the appropriately named It's All Good News. On deck today, an epic anniversary present from a wife to her husband. Now, this one is a gift that we'll keep on giving for the rest of their lives. Plus, a tremendous tip that surprised a group of servers. You know, we've heard these kinds of stories before, but I promise you, you won't believe this one. And how two teachers are making sure their students have what they need to succeed. All right, and first up, a very impressive quad squad. These 22-year-old brothers, who are quadruplets from the Cincinnati area, have a pretty awesome story. The Wade brothers call themselves the quad squad, you know, like quadruplets, but also like the quad on a college campus. Well, they all just graduated from none other than Yale. Listen to their majors. Zach, a double major in chemical engineering and economics. Aaron, a double major in computer science and psychology. Nick, majored in political science, minored in Arabic. And Nigel, majored in molecular, cellular, and developmental biology. Now that is one brilliant group of brothers. Now after being so close for so long, the brothers are going to be pretty spread out in their new endeavors. Nick got a job at Goldman Sachs in New York City. Zach will also be working at a Goldman office in San Francisco. Nigel is doing research in New Haven, Connecticut, and Aaron is wrapping up his senior thesis. So a little more school for him. That is a lot of smarts and talent. Way to go, guys. We congratulate them. Okay, you know that we need your help here, right? So send us your good news and we may feature it on this show. It could be anything from someone doing something nice for you to you witnessing a random act of kindness, whatever it is. We want to hear about it. And there are several ways you can tell us. You can do that by using the hashtag GoodNewsCLE when you post online with your pictures and videos. You can also share what's good with you through the WKYC app using the Near Me feature. All you have to do is tap on Near Me in the bottom right corner and the app will tell you what to do from there. Okay, let me introduce you to a couple from Puerto Rico, a perfect match in every way, literally. Felipe Villegas Robles and Leannabel Rodriguez from Puerto Rico have been married for 17 years. Now their vows have been tested in almost every way imaginable, a hurricane, and now, kidney disease. Here's that perfect match part. Leannabelle donated one of her kidneys to Felipe on the couple's anniversary. Here's what their surgeon said about it. He found out it was their anniversary right before I started the surgery. So it was obviously another reason to celebrate and it gives you a little pressure. Okay, you gotta make this work right. So. In sickness and in health, right? You know, we love it when it gets back to the health part. Now, everyone is expected to make a full recovery, and they're very happy and in love and with an anniversary gift story that will be very hard to top from here on out. But we do hope that they have fun trying. I've been doing this for a very long time, and I never thought anything like this would happen to me. A little kindness goes a long way, especially when a customer leaves a big tip, and we do mean big. A random customer recently went out for some food, ordered a couple of hot dogs, some cocktails, and some fried pickles. Love me some fried pickles, right? Well, here is the best part. After racking up a tab of about $37.93, the guy left a 16 thousand dollar tip yeah you heard me right and the mystery man insisted on leaving it the servers were stunned to say the least up his tab and looked at it and said oh my god you real is this serious you real and he said nope i want you to have it and then she told the other girls and they all went over and thanked them it's just been a really rough year for all of us and for someone to to do something like that um really restored my faith in you know humanity I think it does that for all of us. There were eight servers working that night and they all split the money with the cooks too. And I'll tell you one thing I learned in my many years in the restaurant industry, gotta take care of the kitchen. Amazing that they all split that together. Okay, what would a nice healthy dose of good news be without a dog story? Here's this week's. Elementary school kids in Sussex County, New York are getting some extra reading time in by reading to this little fluff ball. This is Tyler. He's a great Pyrenees and a great teacher's aide. His job in the classroom is to help the students with their reading. He just sits there like a very good boy and quietly listens to the students tell their stories. It's very relaxing just being able to pet him. It gives them a home feeling like they're on their couch reading with their dog in their lap. 
I would for sure want to read more if it meant more puppy time during class. Sounds like these students do too. The 140 students in the school have logged a whopping 330,000 extra minutes of reading time since Tyler started coming in. I bet Tyler loves it too. Looks like he does. Okay, to Texas now, where a couple is going above and beyond to help the students they work alongside daily. Tanner and Courtney Craven work with kids. Tanner is a football coach and Courtney teaches PE. They noticed many of the kids they interact with daily don't have the best shoes and some of them don't really fit their feet the way that they should. So rather than kicking up their heels, they hit the pavement and started an organization called Souls for Souls to get these kids what they need, the proper footwear to carry them through their days. It's to give them hope and hope that, you know, these pair of shoes may be good for you. And we also, you know, want to make sure that the kids know that they have a purpose in life and, uh, you know, they can set goals and they can uh, set those attainable goals and they can accomplish them. The response so far has been huge. This spring, they collected 275 pairs of shoes for students at seven different schools in Texas. And that is very cool to see. Okay, that's it for now. Make sure to send us your good news using the hashtag goodnewscle. You can email it to us at goodnews at wkyc.com or upload those pictures and videos with a little write-up on the details using the Near Me feature on the WKYC app. Hopefully we put a smile on your face and we'll be back next week to do it again. See you then, friends.